So let's talk about One Piece Chapter 16, which is still part of Episode 7 in the anime titled Versus Buggy's Crew. As you can see, a lot of Buggy's crew members and Buggy himself managed to survive Luffy's uh, deflection of the Buggy Ball because they used a lot of the other crew members as meat shields, which is despicable, but hey, this is the type of crew that Buggy runs. Now, finally, Moji <laughs> warns Buggy about Luffy's devil fruit, which he tried to do before but failed. Buggy, of course, is upset about this, and he ends up doing something. Also, this is Buggy's second in command. He's a swordsman, who ended up using Richie as a meat shield for himself. And it's really interesting. It seems like Buggy's second in command is actually more powerful than his first in command. And as I say that, this is exactly what happens. <laughs> Swift kick from Luffy. And here we go. The swordsman acrobat actually attacks Luffy. He seems very, very confident. This is Kabaji. Again, Buggy's second in command. But when it's a fight about swordsmen, you know Zoro's going to step in. If you didn't see that coming, then you haven't been following along. However, Kavaji is more of a trickster than a swordsman. And it's really interesting because this reminds me more of King. Uh, spoiler warning if you're not there, but it reminds me of King a little bit more than any other person that Zoro has fought so far. And he kicks Zoro right in his injury after using a dirty trick. Nami starts to get really worried since Zoro is injured. And Luffy seems a bit concerned, but there's nothing he can do because Zoro chose this fight. But, I still believe in Zoro, so let's see what happens. Hmm, it's different in the manga. In the manga, Zoro pulls a Katakuri and actually wounds himself, but in the anime, he lets Kabaji actually stab him in the wound, and then tells him, if poking at my wound is so fun, if poking at my wound is so fun for you, then uh, have you had enough? Or, is this enough of a handicap? Like, that threw me off a little bit, to be honest that the anime would change so many things so early on, which I've never really noticed before, because I either read the manga or watched the anime. It, I never did exactly like both, like I'm doing now, so it is refreshing. This is the end of the chapter. Like always, if you enjoy my content, a like and a follow would be super appreciated. And like always, thank you for watching, and let me know your thoughts in the comments.